Good evening. Our team has decided to do the next event at Hyderabad on the 28th of October, around about 4.30 to 5 in the evening. It's a Saturday. Those desirous of meeting me in Hyderabad at the event may contact the email given below. Moneypage is hyderabad at gmail.com. We have also given WhatsApp numbers. You can contact us there. My team will be happy to help you with the details. Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. As promised, I pulled Anand in again. If you guys seem to be enjoying Anand in the studio, I thought I'd talk to him about what's happening in the oil industry, in the pharmaceutical industry in the US, and uh, as investors, what we should be paying attention to. First one is the Chevron buying Hess okay. for... Uh, Let me tell you two things first. Hmm. US yields cross 5% mm -hmm. across all. Hmm. Two month, one year, two year, ten year, thirty year. Hmm. Everything was above five percent. Hmm. This is the first time this has happened since two thousand seven. Hmm. Harvard Marx has been talking about sea change. Hmm. That is for forty years, from nineteen eighty till now. Hmm. Interest rates have gone from twenty percent to zero percent, hmm. and now have just gone up five percent. Hmm. For people who have spent forty years in this market in nineteen eighties, when it was at twenty two, I was thirteen years old. Mm. I had no idea what was the market. Mm. So at fifty six, mm. forty three years down the line, I have never seen interest rates like that. Mm. My generation has not seen interest rates like this. No, nobody in the market, no fund manager, no investor whose career is forty years, unless you have Warren Buffett. Howard Marks, whose career is more than 40 years, have not seen anything like this before. No. Okay. So the rules are not the same. No. You had a stimulative economy with 0% interest rate. All assets were good. Mm. All asset classes were good. Mm. Everything was doing great. Mm. Money was growing through the mm. roof. Mm. And uh, yesterday, the 10-year deal came down to 4.85 mm. because two bears, mm. Bill Ekman and Gross, mm. who, runs the, who used to run the biggest bond fund, have said that the American economy looks weaker mm. than what it actually, the headlines suggest. Mm. And therefore, mm. that the rates will not increase further. Mm. And Jim Powell has been saying the same thing. Mm. However, mm. that the conflict between Israel and Hamas is not ending anytime soon. Mm. And uh, both America, America has warned Iran not to get involved. Mm. But Iran is already involved and is the elephant in the room. Mm. Whether Netanyahu is able to hold his horses or mm. whether he drags Iran into the conflict, Mm. is something to be seen. Mm. So, there is past history shows that all conflicts do, have been kept. Mm. There has not been a major conflict. Mm. But the world failed in Russia and Ukraine. Mm. And therefore, the world will not be able to solve this problem. Mm. More than 5,000 people in Gaza have died. Mm. And there are 200 prisoners of Jews mm. who are inside Gaza. Mm. Only four have been released. Mm. So, it looks extremely difficult situation. Mm. Oil is on the ball is at $90. Mm. Oil at $90 means it's not peaked out. And uh, there is no sign of inflation coming down. America is self-sufficient in oil as we will find out very soon. But it's definitely the price is decided by the Middle East because it's an open and transparent market. So it's very clear that fuel prices are going to remain high, which will feed into the system. And the food is fair, prices are going to remain elevated. Mm. Therefore, I don't think even Gross and uh, Ackman are going to get it right. Maybe there is no interest rate increase, mm. but there is no interest rate cut mm. till the second half of next year. Mm. Even maximum you can expect is 0.5 cut next year. Mm. So 5.5 to 5 is not going to make a big difference. Mm. So you are going to have a lot of bankruptcies and a lot of uh, problems in America. It's not mm. going to end and the world is going to catch cold. Mm. Definitely. This is on the market. Now, we, there are two big developments yesterday. Mm. One of the, when Standard Oil was split up, mm. one of the companies that came was Chevron. Mm. So, Chevron today has bought, has beaten the other one, Exxon or something. Exxon. Exxon. Who just finished buying Pioneer. Who just bought Pioneer to buy a company called Hess. Mm. Who have a large offshore national yeah. gas. They have a large offshore, yeah. They have rights for a large offshore land patch for oil. Yeah. So, there is a lot of free oil floating in it. Mm. So, for $53 billion, mm. these guys have gone and bought them. Mm. And they are not paying cash, they are not borrowing money. Yes, they are, giving, they are just giving an all stock. They are just printing Chevron stocks as money 
yes. and giving it. Yes. What will happen? Chevron stocks. There will be too much Chevron stocks in the market. Price is already correcting. Yes. Price will correct deeply. Once this crisis is over and oil comes back to 60 in a year's time, Chevron will correct even more. So if you are an investor, you won't go anywhere near oil stocks in America, Chevron, Exxon or any of these stocks for a long time to come because once the peace returns, oil is going to correct to 60. Mm. And with bloated stocks, mm. with more number of stocks around, mm. these companies are not going to make money with lesser realization. Mm. So this is a euphoric high when markets are at 90. Mm. At the peak of the market, they are buying this. Mm. The smarter thing to do would have been like what Buffett did to buy mm. Occidental Petrol him very cheap two years back mm. and where he lent money to them and he borrowed bought them and borrowed mm. them and now he's 50 percent owner mm. he's playing cat and mouse and laughing all the way to the bank mm. so you could buy companies like occidental petroleum mm. 18 to 24 months back mm. not today mm. today you don't buy something when it's at its peak Hmm. Because the only way oil is going is going down. Hmm. If oil remains like this at extremely high position, hmm. at high, hmm. it means that there is more impetus for cheaper electric cars to come. Hmm. So because the alternate technology is already here. Hmm. Even in a large market like India, the amount of consumption of diesel and petrol are coming down. Hmm. Right? UK is talking about going fully electric. Europe will become fully electric by 2030. Hmm. China is already 25% electric. Hmm. So the demand for oil is going to drop. Hmm. And automobiles is a and transport is a big uh, component of it. Hmm. In India itself, three-wheeler, more than 50% of sales is electric. Hmm. So I do not think this is a great move. And the Chevron will find it very difficult two years down the line. There will be a deep correction. Hmm. We should avoid Chevron completely. Hmm. Right? Hmm. The next uh, thing, Roche, an European Swiss, Swiss company, hmm. which makes uh, pharmaceuticals, very famous pharmaceutical company, hmm. has gone and acquired another company uh, called Telemant. So, Telemant is a company which is new, small, yeah. which has a good pipeline of drugs. It is, yeah, it is formed with Pfizer and this company. Another company by the guy called Ramaswamy, Roy Vant. Roy Vant and Pfizer together created Televant. Televant. To commercialize uh, b uh, what you call a bowel disease, uh, inflammatory bowel disease drug, yeah. which is in phase two in trials. Yes. And uh, Russia feels there is a 15 uh, billion market for that medicine in the US alone. And yeah. Globally, it's a huge market and it's under met. And yeah. they feel this medicine is wonderful. And by taking it quickly to phase three trials and getting it certified and approved, yeah. They're going to enter a very grand market worth more than $15 billion in the US alone. So basically, Rosh is buying market share. He's buying a drug which is going to give market share at a discounted price of $7 billion At $7 billion. Today. At seven, they have bought it for $7 billion. For future earnings. For future earnings. Yeah. But we do not know what is what will happen in phase 3 trials. Correct. We do not know. There are so many things, ifs and buts in this. It is a gamble. It's a gamble. And again, they are paying by stock or by paying cash? Oh, that. That part I did not. It just says uh, worth $7 billion. So we'll pay it up front. So they're going to pay cash. Yes. So Rush is going to pay cash. Yeah. And for a particular drug, they are basically buying the, the company has got a... Buying the rights for the drug. They are buying the rights for the drug. They yeah. believe that the drug will go through. Correct. It's a gamble. If the drug goes through, definitely they'll do well. Yes. But what the broader argument it shows is that so, so they're weaker gambling hands, yeah, so weaker hands are being pushed out. Correct. And larger comp and uh, defying gravity, mm. larger companies are getting larger. Mm. This is because capital is scarce, mm. and smaller company needs capital to grow. Mm. We, earlier there was an stimulative uh, economy where uh, ca cash was available easily, either as equity or as debt. Hmm. No, with debt values going up so, so far, hmm. equity is also very difficult to find. Hmm. So these big companies hmm. are looking for bargains. Hmm. But I don't think real bargains have come hmm. till you see Uncle Warren and Uncle Charlie hmm. come down and take out the busuka and hmm. they are sitting with more than $150 billion in cash hmm. and acquiring something for $10-$15 billion. Correct. That's not happening. So there's some pain to go. Lots of pain to go. So this is what I think. Mm. We are already in the month of October is coming to a close. Yes. Uncle Charlie is just two months. And pretty, pretty much Europe and US uh, cease to exist in any form of work. Once the uh, early no. Thanksgiving passes and we enter towards the no, early weeks I'm of just... December, they've pretty much closed shop. Fingers crossed. Jan first, he's still there mm. and he hits a century. 
yeah thank you for watching be rich i hope you like the content we put out today and uh, i hope you support this channel if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel turn on the bell notification and send this video to your friends and relatives i started the countdown for charlie's birthday yeah thank you thank you it's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me i have written two books in english the alchemy of money and ordinary stocks extraordinary profits these books are published by us and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification